digital lifestyles, guess what we got in today? Great. We got the current cost monitor. You stick it on your, you've got a, a grip that goes around your power uh, that comes into the house or goes out of the house, comes in. And uh, it then monitors how much electricity you're using. It looks really interesting. And these days are high energy prices and just general conservation. We're really excited about trying this one. Not in a, hey, we're really excited sort of way, but in a genuinely excited way. We'll see what we've got inside the box. We uh, also asked for the serial cable edition, which actually looks like it's a, a USB connector, which um, is even more pleasing because I don't know what serial ports we've got on our machines anymore. So what we've got here, we've got, here's the clamp. Okay, so that, they're quite explicit on the site. We've been doing a bit of research on it. They're quite explicit on the site that you have to be careful that you don't clamp your mains cable for obvious reasons. There's a lot of uh, electricity running through those. So you put your cable through here, clamp on, and make sure you don't clamp onto it. It looks like there's a fairly large box attached to that. Decent looking unit. I go at the bottom, there's the connector, probably the, there's the connector for the uh, serial connector. And my understanding is, okay, here's the big box that does the thinking, I guess, does the monitoring. There's a sticker on the back, so that goes on your electricity meter. And uh, wirelessly chucks out the information to this unit where you can watch the breakdown. What have we got here? We've got a power adapter as well. So I guess that goes on the display unit. What have we got here? Okay. That looks like it's probably going to go in there. So, we'll get this rigged up and see how we get on. Oh look, there's a display. A view of what the display is going to look like. Okay, this is going to be fun. Okay, we've got the monitoring unit. Remember we saw it when we took the box apart. We're going to attach it now to the uh, where the electricity comes into the house by the meter. It's never the uh, most attractive or glamorous part of your house. So you're going to see the dirty secrets of the, uh, of the electricity meter. It is pretty... Uh, <laughs> ropey. So anyway, let's not worry. Here we go. The advice from current cost is that the unit should be plugged into the cable that comes out of your electricity meter. The one that then gets fed up into your fuse box. We've identified this one as the place for it to go. We've got a little bit of room here. Sneak it round. Again, the advice from current cost is that you don't... Obviously, if there's cables missing... Sorry, if there's, if there's cables exposed, you don't get close to it. You're talking about serious amounts of electricity there. So, simple as that. You're going to have to find a place for this box to go. Um, but we understand that as soon as we've done that, we're going to be having a display, a readout on the display. Let's go and have a look. Here we go. As they said, as soon as you plug it in, it starts reading out information to you. We previously set the clock on this, and the temperature automatically comes up. But we're showing here 375, 372 watts being used. The cost per month, as yet, we haven't set in the actual cost of the electricity, so I guess that's just using the default values. And over the next day, night, over the next while, yesterday, shows information here in a graph form. It's going to show how much electricity used at night, during the day, and in the evening. This one here is changing a display that's changing kilo hours usage for, this says the last one day, it then changes to the last seven days, and then the last 30 days as well, giving you an average. So we're going to go off and uh, set up the 
the uh, cost of electricity now, so we get a true reflection. But so far, amazingly easy to install. Okay, so we're going to set the price. You hold the up arrow in. This is the price for the cost of units. Hold it in for three seconds. You can specify either the cost per pence or euro charge. Pressing the square button takes us on to actually setting the price. Now, interestingly, oh, right, okay, here we go. So we've got to go from 19.7. Now, I don't quite know how this is going to happen because um, our electricity is a price for the first 225 kilowatt hours, and then after that it goes down to 12.33. So anyway, the first one's at 19.7. We'll find out the details later. As you can see, it's pretty easy, if not a little tiring on the thumbs when the prices go up. 19.7 uh, is what we're looking for. And when you're there, set it. Set the pence while well, we've done the pence. Blue light. And let's see what sort of money. Wow, look at that. £58 a month on the current usage. And it's the daytime, so we're not using... Uh, uh, light bulbs or stuff like that or heating